Hey, so this is a tutorial on layers in Canva. So let me delete this audio track from the previous tutorial. And I added this pink rectangle border that doesn't belong. It doesn't belong at all. But what I'm trying to show you is it's in front. It was the most recent ad. And so it's on top and it's very difficult to select the guitar behind it. So as soon as I click on the guitar behind it, it's collecting this, uh, it's selecting the rectangle and I want it to select the guitar. So if you're interested in selecting that guitar, you have to hold the control or the command key down and then I can select that, that guitar. So it can, I can select an object in the background by using my control key. So here's the frame and here's the guitar lessons that's behind it. So the command or the control key will help with that. The other thing is I don't really want this on the front. So just a review from a previous lesson, and we're just focusing on layers. Um, I'm going to position this to the back. And now it went behind my gradient. It went behind the color. So I'm going to bring it front a little bit too. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back and I'm going to bring it forward. Forward just brings it up one step. If I click onto the front, it brings it right back up to the front again. So I can move things behind one object or I can bring it all the way to the back or all the way to the front or just move it in front of one object. Now the way I add these things, the order I add these, so I added guitar lessons first, I added the guitar, I added this text. So that's the order. This would then be behind the guitar. The guitar would be be behind this text just because it goes in the order that I placed it in. I type this first. I type this or added the image second. I type this third. So um, it all depends on how you add it to the screen, but you can reposition things. Also just want to point out some of these buttons that are up here. Um, I can select two objects. Let me get rid of this. Um, pink border actually because I really don't want it anyway. Um, I want to select two of these objects. So I'm using the shift key. To, I can also use the, I'm just using the shift key and I can group them together. So now anytime I want to move them, they're moving together. Similarly, I can go back to the same menu because they're grouped. I can ungroup them. Um, you can mess with transparency levels. If you need to fade in, fade something out, um, I can lock them in place so that they never move. I, I love them. They're perfect where they are, and I never want to move them again. They are locked. They cannot be moved. This can be moved because I didn't lock that, but I did lock these two. And if I want to unlock them, I'm going to click on this button right here that shows that it's locked and unlock it. Now I can move it again. This one's still locked. So if I click on it, I can unlock it. And now I can move that as well. And I can edit it. I can make changes to it. So a little bit of layer work here in Canva, some maybe tips and tricks with the control or command key and um, how to lock and group some layers.